Hi my loves and welcome to this spring Zara haul. So if you saw last week's video it was what's new in my spring wardrobe and a lot of the pieces were from Zara so in today's video I'm going to be sharing you those pieces, talking about them in a little bit more detail, ways to wear, uh, just some amazing spring finds that are definitely going to carry me through lots of years but also like probably through until summer. Just some really great pieces so I'm really excited to show you them. video is also sponsored by Lily Silk. If you haven't heard of Lily Silk before, they are an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful silk brand. Like li literally, this is the boxes that they came in. I'm a little bit in love. Um, so I just want to talk you through those products before we get into today's video. So Lily Silk's packaging is 100% recyclable and it's made responsibly. Their focus is sustainable products that last for a long time. They use all the fabric remains to create silk scrunchies, eye masks. They're also working with TerraCycle to make sure that there's zero waste from their product production, which is a huge problem in the fast fashion industry. All their products are completely classic, timeless and elegant and just absolutely gorgeous. And they're produced with that timeless aspect in mind. They also really focus on treating their staff and paying their staff really, really well, um, which is something that a lot of we know high fast fashion brands maybe don't do. All of their silk is sourced from mulberry trees, which actually uses a lot less water to create the products than such items like cotton. They only use 100% natural premium quality materials. Obviously I'm sure you guys know silk is like the most gorgeous like luxurious feeling item to wear and also to sleep in. So one of the products I've actually got to show you is a pillowcase. Um, it's one of their really famous products and something you will just pop in your basket uh, without even thinking about it because they are a game changer. They're really really great for your hair quality. Also obviously your skin as well. Um, they provide pyjamas, but some of the amazing pieces I want to show you today is actually a silk shirt. So like I said, they come in this gorgeous little box, um, which is completely recyclable and made from recycled fabrics. I picked up the silk pillow in um, this gorgeous gold, off gold colour. Um, I'll leave down below in the description box the correct links and the name of the products that I did order and in the size. Um, and also I have a discount code for you guys which I'll pop on the screen and also down below in the discount box as well if you were to treat yourself um, to some gorgeous silk goods. I think these would make really great presents for like family members at Christmas, um, mother-in-laws, mothers, uh, people like that. I think it would be really gorgeous like gift, special gift to give someone but obviously the silk shirts which I'm about to show you how I style um, is my ultimate favourite and a lovely little gift to yourself. So they come again in a box like this, really beautifully wrapped. It's almost like a present from me to me. It makes me feel very happy. It says Live Spectacularly on there. They definitely know my vibe. <laughs> Look where I am. So I was so torn between what shirt to pick colours to pick this shirt up in. I actually picked up in the navy to go for something a bit different because I am like, I already own so much white stuff. That I was like, I can't buy it in white, but it does come in a gorgeous white colour and it has this stunning pearl details down it. So um, I'm just going to show you how I would style this. So for a more casual look, I'd pair this into like some paper, paper bag, paper bag shorts. Here I styled it with some white ones from Zara a few years ago and then just a simple sandal um, for like an everyday look. You can obviously also dress this up for like an office look or if you wanted to keep it more for like a date night you could wear it with a nice um, midi skirt or maybe some like more fitted trousers. Here I've paired it with some mango trousers and um, they're like a linen-y feel. Um, they're really really gorgeous or again you could do something even more um, like casual for day and wear it with like white jeans gonna be really super versatile um, and just a stunning stunning piece so I'm absolutely in love with those pieces and thank you again for sponsoring this video Lisa. So I definitely would recommend adding one of these pieces to your wardrobe as a lovely little investment piece for your uh, more of a capsule wardrobe look. Okay my loves I had to come inside because it got a little bit too hot um, so I'm just gonna carry it on from in here. So the first piece I'm going to share with you, if you follow me over on Instagram, at with Katie, no I'm not, oh my god, haven't been that for ages, <laughs> I'm at Katie Victoria Holland and I have styled this on there quite a lot recently. So it's this lilac blazer, I literally love it and I can tell you a million and one ways to actually wear this because it's so versatile 
I have also saved about a million and one like blazer outfit ideas um, on my Instagram. I don't know if you use the save button, but I do. And I find it so helpful for like when I'm like, hmm, what was that way that I wanted to wear that again? So what, one of the ways I think you can wear this, which looks really great for like a more dressed down look, would be with some active wear underneath. Um, I really love this kind of look. I think it's really great for like every day. Another way that you could style a lilac blazer is with some matching lilac shorts and then like a blouse just like this, but the white version. I actually think that would look like such a dream. Kind of makes me want to get the white one now too. Um, I also think that would be lovely for like a spring look. You could obviously dress it down with some sandals um, or dress it up with some heels. An easy day look for more of a springtime look if you're not ready quite for the summer yet. Maybe you're in the UK and it's a little bit chilly still. It's with some regular jeans, some like light blue wash jeans or maybe some darker denim wash jeans would look great but also like some white ones and um, maybe some mom jeans regular jeans any kind of jean it's gonna look great maybe like a basic white t-shirt um, and some really casual trainers maybe some converse some chunky trainers anything that you guys are kind of loving at the minute and um, would look so good with this so next I picked up this absolutely dreamy cream soft knit jumper. This is going to be so perfect for this time of year. We just want to pop something on in the evenings. Perfect like little piece to take on holidays, like your evening, you know, when you need something to just keep you a little bit toasty. Um, this is going to be the one. This I got in a medium to large and I'm a UK size 12. It fits like an absolute dream. I also wanted to mention that last blazer I got in a medium. It's quite um, like oversized, which I really love. Um, so yeah, it's got these little splits at the side and I think just the knit detail is going to make it like not too hot for like when you're on holiday or like popping it on in the evenings, maybe like just around the house, maybe if you're going out for like a barbecue, but also just like popping to do the food shop because let's be honest, we all want to look nice. Like just a nice basic and I feel like you'll have this for years and years and years. This I think would look great with just some normal like regular skinny jeans. Like going back to the days we can wear skinny jeans still guys, like they're not out of fashion. They're never going to go out of fashion, okay? Um, I actually have paired these with a pair of like Zara skinny jeans that I've had for about 50 bloody years. Um, and they look great with it, with just con some converse, super, super casual. You could also swap that out for some flip flops. Uh, I don't think this is going to be the kind of thing you would dress up, but I do I do think it would look really lovely like on holiday with like maybe some cream wide leg trousers, that kind of thing, or like maybe some cream tailored shorts. Uh, I also did style it over my Instagram with just some denim shorts and some sandals and it just it's just like a really easy everyday casual piece. Okay, so we all know that last year was the year of embroidery on Glaive. I don't think it's going anywhere and I don't think it ever will because I just think I just I do think it is an absolutely beautiful staple to have in the wardrobe. It's so classy and effortless. It's just like that instant, instant like sort of up leveling an outfit. It changes it from being just a white top to like just has this more detail. Something about it is absolutely beautiful. The crop detail on it I think makes it a great piece maybe for a little bit more like summertime but if you wanted to wear it this time of year you could easily wear it with a pair of like mom jeans, pop a nice chunky cardigan over the top kind of look. Um, it's got a crisscross open back which I absolutely love, can't wait for my tan. Just I'm just like you can't believe that I'm Croatia right now because I'm really not tanned yet <laughs> but um, I absolutely just love it, I think it's stunning and I love the like puff long sleeve details because I just think sometimes when you're when you're a little bit older, guys, you know I'm 30 now, and I'm just like maybe can't be like getting it all out. So sometimes if you've got the back out, nice to have the arms covered, you know? Got to have a bit of the belly out, but my arms are covered, my boobs are covered, a little bit sexy at the back, you know? Classy at the front, sexy at the back. That's what we're here for. So I have to be honest, since I've just turned 30 last year, this has been the year where I've started to think more about the styles of things I wear and shirts aren't something I ever used to really wear, nor blouses to be honest. Um, but I'm kind of wondering how I ever lived without this linen top. Now, don't get me wrong, linen creases like an absolute biatch. I can't stand how easily it creases. I feel like you iron it, you wear it for five minutes and it looks like this again because I actually ironed this the other day. Um, wore it once and it looks like this again, but it is just one of those casual pieces you can chuck on. It's so, so easy to wear. Um, really, really love it. Just like opened up with like a little like 
cropped tank top underneath, maybe some shorts or some jeans. Um, and then again, could easily be worn with like trousers um, if you're more of a heels kind of girl, a little pair of like kitten heels, or some sandals, super, super easy. Um, and then obviously you can wear it as a top itself as well. And what I love about this is it can also be worn as a cover up on the beach. I just think linen is just one of those classic pieces you're always gonna have in the wardrobe. Sarah's got some really well priced linen pieces in at the minute. So yeah, absolutely in love with that. Loved it so much, I picked it up in two colors, slightly different style. So I picked it up in this lovely neutral, um, almost like, is it like caramelly color? Yeah, it's kind of like a caramelly color. It's really, really beautiful. I just thought it was a little bit different. It's got these little white um, button sleeves. Get a little nice shot of my new nails in there. Um, and yeah, I just think it's beautiful. This can be worn, again, like the ways I told you, the white one could be worn easily. Like another way you could also wear it is like done up and then like, you know, like when you like tie it at the waist back for a lot more casual kind of look with paired with some more like another pair of linen shorts would look really cute some nice chunky like Birkenstocks nice straw hat and a beach bag and we're just away ready for the beach thinking about your holidays I'm mentally on holiday already I am technically because I'm in Croatia right now this is obviously not my normal setup um I just want to show you the outside quickly <laughs> I don't know the sun is setting out there and it just is just a dream. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, I love it, but it has, like I said, been super toasty today. So I had to postpone filming and come back to it. So anywho, we're here now. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this piece. Super versatile, really well priced, under 30 pound winning. To another basic would be this little pink crop top, which was actually like five pound. I bought this back in the UK. Um, I know they have them in loads of different colours. I would be kind of the kind of person who gets one in every colour because you know when something just fits well, like one of these basic tops, you just want it in every colour because you're always going to be reaching for it. It literally is great. The only thing I would say, if you've got a bigger bust, it's awkward a little bit with the straps of bras, but you can just pull them in. Um, that's what I was, that's what I've done and it looks fine. Or alternatively, you could try and get like a racer back bra for it because it is a little bit the way it cuts in. Sometimes you would see the bra strap, and I just don't love that look. And I just don't really love like a strapless bra. I just find them so uncomfortable because they're so freaking tight. So <laughs> just bear that in mind if you have got a larger bust. But I just think the pop of color is gorgeous, and obviously we're seeing so many of these like bright pops of color this spring, and I'm hoping in summer we'll see a lot more. I'm actually starting to see so many like florals, but really, really bright florals, like like brighter than I've ever seen before. I tried some on recently in H&M, um, which I have popped a reel of over on my Instagram, which is at Katie Victoria Helen. So if you are looking for some summer holiday inspo, maybe make sure to pop over and see that. Okay, so I wasn't really gonna share this piece with you, but it's actually really like just gorgeous. It's actually from the Zara Men, and it's, <laughs> but it's like a soft blush pink hoodie. I can't get it on the hanger. Um, when we arrived in Split in Croatia, it was actually really chilly and I didn't bring anything to be prepared for that. Um, so I just picked up this. It is just literally like an oversized comfy jumper. Obviously I'm not gonna talk to you about ways to wear it because it's a pretty jumper, like a hoodie, you know how to wear it. But I just think sometimes like this, like I haven't owned hoodie a hoodie for like such a long time or just still Reese's so to actually go and buy my own or what it was from the men's section but the women's section clearly apparently they think we don't get cold because we didn't have any jumpers um but I actually love on the back it's it's like kind of like my slogan so it says timeless something that cannot be affected or changed affected by changes in society or style and I was like yeah I feel like that's kind of like what I like always want to bring and like timeless classic styles to you guys that you could just wear like year after year like I'm not here for like fast fashion that just goes out of style after you've worn it for like one season I just cannot do it I never have um I just think it's a waste of money and it's also like obviously harmful to the environment which is another reason why like working with Lily Silk who are such an eco-conscious brand was such a dream come true um and obviously 
the silk shirt is a dream come true too. I feel like I never want to take it off. And I also want to get it in every colour. I think I also forgot to mention that the pillowcases come in like a hundred different colours. There's so many different colours. There'll be definitely be one that goes with everyone's um, style. Something I actually picked up, which I actually think now I'm holding it next to, I feel like it would look really good with this shirt. They're actually like some black wide leg trousers. These come in three different colours. Um, like a creamy ecru, I think it was, and... Hmm, maybe a pink, I can't really remember now. But I'll leave it linked it below um, so you can just click on it easily. Um, and I picked these up in, a, I wanna say a large. Yes, in a large, I'm UK size 12, like I'm like genuinely that always fits me. These are slightly on the larger side. Sometimes I just think it's so nice for more of like a this style trouser because when they're sort of tight, I just never wanna put them on. So I'm absolutely in love with the fit of these. Also the length, if anyone here is a tall human like me, I'm five foot nine, which I know isn't, you know, tall, tall, but I do really struggle with length of trousers being long enough. So if you are more on the shorter side, these are gonna be super long on you. You could either obviously hem them or wear them with heels, uh, but just something to bear in mind. But for us tall girls, they're a literal dream. And they were actually something I just picked up to try an outfit on with. Had no intention of buying them. I wasn't like, oh, they look nice on the rail at all. And I have worn them so much already. So I absolutely love them. They're literally just basic wide leg trouser, um, but great. Again, I think they're just under 30 pounds. So a really, really good price point and super wearable um, with, oh my God, do you know, I just had this fear that like I hadn't actually pressed record, <laughs> but I have, it's okay. Um, with this top, which is the top that I wanted something to try on with. I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll like wear it with some black high-waisted jeans or some black mom jeans. I was like, just looking for anything black to try on, which is where I found those trousers, which was a lucky little find. They made their way into my life. They obviously needed to be in my life. Um, this is like a lovely wrap top. It's like a linen style material. I'm not sure if it is 100% linen. Um, and then it's obviously got this really pretty print on. I love this print and it also came in like a really gorgeous um, short midi dress as well. It wasn't that flattering on the midi dress, unfortunately, on my shape. Um, don't really know what shape it would be more flattering on, but it, there we are. Um, yeah, so this is just like a lovely crop and what I was saying earlier about that nice long sleeve detail. So we've got a little bit of sleeve, um, which is kind of nice more in the spring months. It means you can wear it spring and summer, not just in summer when you're like in strappy tops all the time. Um, and this can be worn with like maybe a black midi skirt, maybe a satin midi skirt, maybe, um, like I said, some black mom jeans, those kind of things, easily again. I just feel like it's obvious, but I just, maybe it's not, like dress it up with some heels, dress it down with some trainers or sandals, like that's a given for like almost every outfit these days. You can pretty much do that with, because trainers are so in right now, which is the best thing ever, because God, I hate heels. <laughs> who has wide foot feet you will feel my pain like it's just not fun unless you buy wide fit like it's just painful <laughs> so this piece oh my god this I just happened to just try on because I've been having my eye on Nadia Anya has a hat like this and I think it's like I don't know if it's like maybe like 50 pound or like 80 pound and I don't think that's overpriced for a staple piece for the wardrobe to be honest I actually think it's a really good price but for me personally, I like to try hats on to know if they're gonna fit me. So I tried this on and I was like, oh my God, like honestly, I didn't start wearing hats for last year. And when I find one that suits me, I don't look that great on me tonight, but normally I feel like it looks great and it really like just elevates some outfits, makes them look a little bit more chic put together. And you just feel a little bit more like, oh, I'm on my holiday with my straw hat loving life um i love that it was 20 pound and i think it's an absolute bargain i have to say it's not the best quality like i can tell that it's going to come away and if i wear it like a lot a lot it probably won't last me that long it'll start to look a bit scruffy however i don't know how good quality and it's more expensive one would be so maybe just something to bear in mind if anyone's got an experience buying more expensive hats i'd hope that they were better quality but i don't know um so yeah just Sometimes, sometimes, to be honest, at the moment, I am definitely trying to be more conscious of buying pieces that will last, not necessarily style-wise, because I've always been like that. Um, like I said earlier with the timeless and classic pieces, but maybe just 
like spending a little bit more on one item than actually buying too many items that are maybe gonna fall apart. And actually on that note, ironically, while I'm holding this top, this top is actually, I've only worn it like once or twice and the stitching's already started to come away, which is really disappointing. Um, I have to say Zara's very hit and miss on the quality of items, so it can be quite hard to know kind of what you're getting with Zara. Um, sometimes I've had pieces that have lasted me years, like I've got a pair of jeans in the cupboard. I honestly, I think I've had them since I was about 17 and I'm 30. Yeah, I bought this and the, and the stitching's coming away. I, ha I have another, actually I have another shirt in the wardrobe and it just literally fell apart the second time I wore it. Definitely should have took it back, I don't know why I didn't. Um, but yeah, this is just like a really nice basic white t-shirt. I feel like you guys probably aren't gonna get it now so the stitching's coming away. I'm not sure if that's just a flaw on this one item. It does come in lots of different colors. I think it's a lovely basic, lovely staple. Um, it's just really like lovely soft. What material is this? It's like that flattering bodysuit material. If you guys have ever bought one of those like basic bodysuits, but I feel like everyone has at least one of, is like that material. So it's very flattering. It is double lined to the bust um, and it was like in the 10 pound mark. So it is very affordable. However, like I said, I'm not sure if the stitching was just on this one or it would be on them all. However, I do think it's maybe like worth popping in and seeing if you are looking for some nice basic staples. This would be great to have a few in a few colours just for like your holidays, even if you didn't want to wear it like over and over and over again. I feel like it's getting a bit dark in here now, guys. The sun's going down. We're on our last piece, absolutely finishing off with a dream. This is just this really gorgeous, dusky, soft pink blazer. Um, you probably will see me wear this again on my Instagram if you follow me over there. If you're not, what are you doing? why you're not over there join the party i honestly post so much content it's ridiculous and i just is exhausting so please come over there and support it that would mean the world um and also i feel like i love chatting to you guys over there we always get a bit of bit of chat going on um so yeah this is a really really gorgeous blazer i think i have shown this a few times on my channel before so if you've been here and you watch every video my apologies for keep showing you this blazer but it is one i just feel like i keep putting in because it is still online in zara as well i bought it more towards the start of the year um and it's just a really great piece it's going to be actually wearable all year round because i bought it when i was back in the uk and i wore it with like a chunky cream roll neck jeans and loafers and i'm just gonna say it looked great so definitely gonna be something you can wear all year round um, and you could style that the same ways as i mentioned the lilac blazer at the start of the video so i'm not gonna repeat myself and that is everything from today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if you had a favorite piece that you're gonna go and buy let me know down below also, if you loved today's sponsor, Lily Silk, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section as well. Um, there was just so many pieces on the website. Honestly, it was really, really hard to pick one, but I do think I picked really well. I love the pearl detail. Um, like I mentioned, if you are gonna treat yourself, here's the discount code on the screen, and it would just be like a nice little treat, either for yourself, for a loved one, and those pillowcases are an absolute dream. I keep saying to Reese every night, how to sleep tonight with your pillowcase <laughs> and he's just like oh it's so good like literally so good and it really is so definitely treat yourself um i feel like we all deserve a treat every now and then so especially when there's discount and especially when it's good for the environment eco-conscious all of the aspects that i mentioned at the start of the video um so thank you so much again to them for sponsoring today's video and i hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you next time bye